Monteverde is one of the most remote regions of Costa Rica, but it's incredible. It's this great little mountain town that's actually founded by some folks from the U.S. and Costa Rica, and it's got a rich history. It's hard to get to. The roads are incredibly rugged, and the rental car companies will even try to talk you out of going to Monteverde. But I highly recommend it. There's a great cloud forest there. And as such, you need to really sort of know what gear you're going to want to bring because it's pretty rugged up there and you're not going to have a lot of opportunity to go back and get equipment. When you go out for the day, you're going to have to go out for the day. That's why I recommend you take the most flexible lens you have. You'll have plenty of light. You're going to be shooting in outdoor situations. So I take my 28 to 300 millimeter lens. This is going to give me tremendous flexibility. At 28 millimeters, I can get great wide shots to establish where I'm at. And as needed there, I can punch in to 300 millimeters to get some of that wildlife. Sure, it's not the flexibility of the 600 millimeter lens, but this is gonna be rock solid and very fast shooting. So I'm gonna do the bulk of the shooting on my DSLR. The other lens though that I'm gonna bring because there's just great vegetation up there and including a tremendous collection of orchids is I actually went ahead and brought my macro lens on this trip. I wanna get close and have that great control over depth of field and really close focusing. There's gonna be things like butterflies and shots that we want intricate details. And the investment in a macro lens is something that's really worthwhile for your kit. Now, if you don't have this, go with a fast lens that has a short focal length, but a true macro lens is a great investment. And in an area like this that's rich with great plant life and insect life, it's gonna let you get some incredible shots. Now, we've walked through all sorts of other equipment, but I wanna talk about two things that I found incredibly useful on this trip. First up, and it's gonna sound silly, but just keeping a tablet with me. In this case, an iPad mini. I've loaded it up with some wonderful apps about Costa Rica, and it gives me tons of information. I can look up what an animal is or identify a flower. And the great news is, no matter where you're touring around the world these days, there are apps designed to help you. I've got an app here to help me understand the birds that I'm seeing, to identify the flowers. And this is going to help me really study up before I go out. I don't have the ability to do a location scout before I got here. Most of the things I want to be shooting, I only have that one time to get it right. So by being able to read up before the shoot and know what to look for, that's going to go a long way. Of course, I'm a big fan of using local guides. They're going to know the area and help you get some great shots. But this just gives me a little bit of confidence in preparation. The other thing, and this is getting pretty ripe at this point because I've been out in the jungle for two weeks, but the nice thing here is a photo vest. And a photo vest is incredibly versatile. I have got so many pockets on this thing. I've got pockets on the front. I've got zippered pockets. I've got spare batteries any lenses, every little piece of extra equipment that I wanted. In fact, as I go hiking around Monte Verde, I carried two tripods. I could take this tripod and in the back here, there's actually pockets. So right here, I just drop that in. And in fact, I could even put the second one in there. And as I'm out walking around, I've got my hands free, but when I need the tripod, I could reach back and grab it. Now, this is a lot of weight, but the nice thing is, is that when I need to take a break or we sit down for a meal, I could take it off and all my gear goes with me. But it's not a photo bag. I don't have to worry about leaving it. I'm not just keeping it all on one shoulder. This evenly distributes the weight across the bulk of my body and it gives me lots of flexibility for storage with the ability to keep lenses and gear all in one place.